people are having trouble with this question since it's asking So before doing any assignments or any questions before approaching them, one thing I would like to advise you guys is um, to read the questions and instructions carefully because um, it is very easy to miss uh, something really important that it's asking you to do and then you end up losing points, right? Um, you don't want that, I don't want that either. Um, so basically, before doing any assignment or any question, just make sure you read the question carefully. Here, for question three, it's asking for um, which Carmona has the greatest average difference between the climate fuel economy and city fuel economy, right? So um, basically what I have to do is download your file and then highlight all the um, dimensions and measures you see that it's asking for, right? So you know what, uh, what data fields to select while you're putting them in your uh, dimension, uh, putting them in your columns and rows, right? So right now it's asking for, um, for to find, uh, right now it's asking to find difference, uh, areas difference between highway fuel economy and city fuel economy. So simply, um, how would you find difference between two things? You would simply subtract them, right? So if you want to find difference between three and five, difference between two and three, it's, it's one, you just subtract them, right? It's, it's that easy. Um, so what you would do is um, you go to analysis, and then you create a calculated field. Everyone can, everyone can see this, right? Name your calculated field, whatever. I just need a difference. Um, and then what do you? What you're trying to do is find um, difference. So you can use this as um, this workspace here as simple math functions. Uh, for example, city F E. So city F E minus F E. And it should say the calculation is valid. If it's not valid, usually uh, you probably miss parentheses or something. But um, yeah, I should say if it's valid. Next thing, um, because I created a calculated field, there's uh, a field called difference here, right? So basically now you're, you're gonna use this difference and find, um, so again, go back to question and see what, it asking, what, what it's asking for. Is it asking for manufacturer's name? Because that's different than car model, right? So, um, if it's asking for a car model and then you put manufacturer's name, then you're going to lose points. So you just need to um, see what it's asking for. So car model is car line. You have a question? Okay, all right. So car model is car line. So you basically select car line in, in, in the calculated field that you just created. And that's gonna give you different. So this, what this is, is the difference between this particular car's city economy and highway economy, right? So this car has the highest difference between its city economy and highway economy. Uh, to make this easier, um, you're, you're trying to find the one that has the highest, right? And the, the av uh, average difference, so you just switch this to average, right? Um, another way to do this would be um, go, to, go back to calculator field and put average here and here. But rather than doing that, it's easier to do it this way, right? So you're trying to find the highest. So rather than scrolling all the way in the bottom and trying to find which one's highest, you can simply sort them this, uh, descending order. So if you go here, you can see three bars here. It's, that's the icon to sort. You click that, it's going to sort from um, sort ascending order, and this is descending order. Um, so this is the highest, and then it's going to go lower and lower. So your answer would be this: um, 200. Car model has highest difference. I thought it was uh, different from like a lot of the highway to minus. Yes. So it's basically the same thing, because 
no matter what the difference is, as long as it's positive, it doesn't matter. Does that make sense? So, yeah, so it doesn't matter. You see, uh, if I put habit minus city, it's going to be the same difference. Does that make sense? So here, let me change that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm just, I'm just yeah. Not, so it doesn't matter. You're not going to lose points because it's positive or negative down here. You're trying to find difference, right? So difference between 3 and 2 is 1, right? But then difference between 2 and 3 is 1 as well, but it's negative 1. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So just to um, correct what you said, I will just go back. Switch one of them as dimension. That's how you're going to see a relationship. Now you can tell there is a relationship. Uh, as the engine displacement increases, the CO2 emissions, carbon dioxide emissions of a particular car increases at the same time, right? Well, you're using a scatter plot, so I'm just going to go back, um, make it average, and then use scatter plot. So this is the scatter plot. Um, basically, now, you, now, now you know the relationship. You can answer the first part of the question right here. For second part, it's asking what car models, which car models have better city mileage than highway mileage. So if you notice that in question three, you had four cars that had um, that had higher city mileage than. Um, Highway mileage. So, so for, to create a calculated field, you would need to um, categorize these cars from these cars. So you need to separate them, right? That's how you're going to color code. Um, so basically, what you can do is create a new calculated field, and I'm just going to name the higher. 
studio. So there is two ways you can do this. Um, they are both going to be if statements. Um, so if city if highway minus city is, more, is greater than zero. <coughs> so this is our um, argument or conditional statement. So what you're trying to do, uh, what, what I wrote here is, if highway fuel economy minus city fuel economy, so that's the difference, right? That's, that's um, question three formula. If it's more than zero, that means it has positive difference, right? That means highway is gonna be higher than city. So if this holds true, then that particular car model has higher highway. Right? And if it, if it does not hold true, if it's negative, then that car model has um, higher city. Make sure you use quotes and um, parentheses properly. Another way to do this would be um, simply put a less than greater than statement. So if highway is greater than city, so if this, this statement is true, this then that car model is going to be in category higher highway, right? And if it's not true, it's going to be in higher city. Because we know there's four cars from question three, this should be easy to, uh, to check if it's right or wrong. So I'm just going to apply it and put that. Um, drag that to color, and it's going to color to four cars right here as um, cars that have less, um, cars that have less uh, highway economy than city economy, right? So um, yeah, that's basically it. To, to add labels or to tip, so if you want to know what manuf what, who manufactures that car, you just select manufacturer's name and drag that. Tooltip. So every data point you uh, over on, it's going to tell you who manufactures that car. So here it says manufacturer name Ford Motor Company. This one right here. So these two cars are.